Uh, Hannah, uh, obviously, uh, just just if you would remind us of what happened uh, to you uh, uh, and Steve. You were with Steve tonight. It's your birthday celebration tonight. It's my birthday celebration. Your birthday was on Tuesday, but it's my treat tonight. So it's been an eventful night. <laughs> and to, um, if, if you can cast your back, you're here for the production at the Apollo Theatre. Uh, what do you remember seeing? What do you remember happening uh, at uh, around about 40 minutes into the performance? So, um, yeah, about 40 minutes in, we were, we were watching uh, and enjoying the show quite happily, and we were in, up in the balcony a bit towards the back, and we were about five rows in the front just there. And we saw two, three people get up in the front row of the balcony bit, and then like quite quickly, the next row and the next row, and they all started going that way, and then we heard a creak. Um, and then the ceiling, which is presumably plaster or something, it just slowly and then just went, and just the whole thing just collapsed, just suddenly like that, and then instantly loaded us everywhere, and you couldn't see anything. Um, and there was like, ah, just look out something. But straight away, the ushers uh, in the aisles straight away opened the doors. Don't run, exit this way. Exit. And, you know, it wasn't mad. It wasn't like completely dark. Lights up and things. Um, so everyone just, a lot of people got out, thankfully, but people going in the stalls, we, we could hear sort of a lot of, ah, oh, what's going on? And we, we couldn't really see, but we stood um, opposite the theatre doors because the police very quickly arrived, about three minutes. Um, and then we were standing just this side and we just kept watching more people coming out just covered in dust and there were one or two more serious cases that came out and there was one lady uh, that was on the floor and they had a blanket and the paramedics were seeing to her and she, um, she had oxygen as well. Um, and then the, I overheard one of the paramedics saying, um, oh, I think he's got a suspected broken leg, and they were just gradually bringing more and more people out, and then people were sort of, a couple of people bleeding from the head, but they, they started ushering anybody who could sort of walk and could help carry anyone who was in, not like minorly injured, um, into the theatre next door, um, and the, the ushers in the, the adjacent theatre got the chairs out, you know, water and jugs and everything very, very quickly, more paramedics arrived, um, and as, as you see, it's all cordoned off now, and they're just dealing with it, so... You uh, said earlier on that you thought that this all happened roughly about 40 minutes into the p performance itself. So oh, yeah, about. I, don't know. about. I know it would have been difficult, but was it? Can you describe what it was like at that time? Was it dark? Were, uh, were there actors on stage? It was at the time? relatively dark, and I was leaning forward like this, watching, because we were quite far back and we were right up in the top bit. Um, but yeah, this, this, the show was amazing. Everyone's pretty captivated. Everyone's silent in the audience, listening, which is why we could hear the creak. Um, and I heard somebody. From when we were chatting opposite outside, where somebody had a, um, an injured arm that was all bleeding, I was like, "You're okay, I'm fine." Um, but he was saying, um, "Oh, we thought it was sound effects to start with. We thought it was sound effects." And we looked around, and, and then obviously saw like chunks of stuff falling. So yeah, it's just, it happened so fast. You know, it's like, "Oh, grab your coat, out," or sort of thing. Yeah, didn't, know, didn't really know what was happening, and then just outside. I and mean, you sort of heard more about what happened when you're outside. So so not only was it fairly dark at the time, yeah. uh, it was then the whole theatre. So it was completely plunged into a, a, a effect of dust. Straight away, thing. straight away, literally, like, like, a, like, a, like a movie spot, a movie set sort of thing. I don't want to make it sound over dramatic, but it was just so quick, load of dust like that straight away. So, yeah. And then you obviously realised you had to get out. Uh, Pretty much, how, yeah. how, how did you feel at that point? It was like a moment of kind of frozen going, oh, uh, right, coat, run, sort of thing, you know, just go. And then there's people in front of us, people behind. You know, and we're all, everyone, everyone's kind of like, you okay, you okay, yeah, yeah, you know, everyone's kind of communally like, let's get out, you know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't ev every man for himself, it wasn't at all like that, not at all, and when people were outside, you know, a couple of people said, are you okay, and we're like, no, we're okay, and then, it's, you know, communally people were asking, you know, can we help and things, um, and the, there was a lady uh, on the floor that needed a jacket, somebody goes, oh, she's, she's cold, we need a jacket, and straight away my husband just like, when I'll hear how my jumper like straight away and just keep her warm until the paramedics could bring blankets and things. And that's so, Steve, isn't it? That's Steve. Yeah. Steve, Steve. Um, and and Steve at the moment. I mean, he he he, he also talks of of the ushers coming in very very quickly, making yeah. sure that uh, you all uh, tried to leave as orderly as possible because probably you guys were in a position where things weren't too bad at all. Not no, it happened like just in front. Of, it, it missed us all thankfully. So yeah. But presumably elsewhere, the, the, there wasn't calm, right? So second. So presumably uh, elsewhere, yeah. uh, there there wasn't calm uh, in a so calm down, at all. Downstairs was uh, well, we we could heard people like screaming, going ah like this, but it's, it kind of went. It was really strange. It went quiet relatively quickly. Where obviously somebody they'd all realised what happened. Um, but I, d I don't know whether anybody was unconscious down there. We couldn't see. It was, it was too dusty. We couldn't see anything, and it was just the ushers going, please, you know, this way to the exit. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, All I, right. I, couldn't, I couldn't see anything downstairs. I just heard, heard things. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it's difficult to quantify because you, you know, it was very dusty. But yeah, I mean, 
Can you kind of give us an idea of roughly how big an area was actually affected? I mean, you know, not in terms of the numbers of people, but maybe was it, a, was it the size of, uh, I don't know, um, a, a large living room area? Or was it much, much bigger than that? So it, was, it all happened so quickly, but I, was, I did actually glance up and look, and I, I mean, absolute guess, I'd say, as at least a two metre by two metre chunk, at least, that came down. So, and you saw just kind of, you could see like the wooden kind of underneath of where the ceiling should have been. So, well, yeah, yeah, there was a sizable chunk that was not there anymore. So, yeah. So, a good two, two metres by, by two metres. So, something that could have fallen down, a great weight could have at least come into contact with, uh, you know, a dozen, if not more. coming out injured, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. which, which might explain the numbers that we're hearing at the moment that, that 30 at the you know at the very least have been injured by all this um, and and the emergency services I mean do you uh, when were you aware that they were there and on the scene I mean we got outside and it was in about three minutes uh, we saw sirens and it was uh, the police arrived then more police then the ambulance and then fire crews it, within five minutes like everybody was there and within ten minutes the cordons were going up and everything and then they were moving people back and they, they were very 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 quick about it so and it was very much uh, you know if you're in the theatre, we want you guys this way, and if you weren't, get back, you know, so, yeah. Well, look, uh, Hannah, thank you very much indeed for uh, speaking to us. Uh, I'll, I'll let you rejoin uh, uh, Steve. If Steve fancies popping over and having a chat with us in a minute, I'm glad, everything, I'm glad you're safe. Uh, and we're just going to uh, just... Uh,